new videos every day. Life, wisdom. Hey, it's Karina, your virtual health coach. And today I am talking about chocolate. Before I reveal the different chocolates in my bag and discuss them, let me know what is the best tasting chocolate? What is your absolute favorite? And go ahead and leave your comment now letting me know because if it comes out of the bag, you might be less likely to have told me that that was your favorite chocolate. So I have seven different kinds of chocolate in my bag here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull them out. I'm going to, for each one, I'm going to taste it and rate it on flavor, rate it on texture, and then I'm gonna take a look at the ingredients and I'm gonna give it a rating, one to 10, on based on its ingredients and we'll see which one wins. Let's see. All righty. Let's go ahead and start with the Dove. So, do you like Dove chocolate? Is this something you're familiar with that you've eaten a lot of? Just looking at the front of the label, we have dark chocolate, silky smooth promises. Uh, we also have, okay, 210 calories per serving. And I'm gonna assume uh, okay, so a serving is five pieces. So at least they're being a little bit realistic about the fact that you're going to probably be eating several of these. So here we go. It's so very cute and adorable. And what's kind of nice about Dove, right, is that they include these cute little sayings on the inside, your smile is your best accessory. It's like they knew that I was going to open it. <laughs> how sweet. Okay, the important part though is how it tastes, right? Chocolatey. I never understood people that don't like chocolate. I know that they exist. This is really good. It's pretty chocolatey. It's super sweet. So definitely I would say more sweet, less chocolatey. We've got some dark chocolate in here and we will see that that's actually probably more chocolatey than it is sweet. Since it's pretty high in sugar, I personally am not, uh, am not getting my chocolate fix from this little piece of candy. This is not chocolatey enough for me. Um, it is super smooth and silky. I would probably give it a seven in terms of how it tastes, in terms of satisfying a severe chocolate craving. But let's take a look at the ingredients. Okay, so here are our ingredients. We have semi-sweet chocolate, which is sugar, uh, chocolate and chocolate processed with alkali, then we have cocoa butter, milk fat, soy lecithin, and natural and artificial flavors. So let's consider the quality of this product based on the ingredient list here. So first ingredient is sugar. This is probably why it got a six on my chocolate flavor rating because I felt it was more sugary than it was chocolatey. Um, and then another consideration, both about sugar and the soy lecithin, is that sugar and soy are really commonly genetically modified crops, or GMOs. Uh, and this is something that I try to avoid as much as possible. We have other videos about the dangers of GMOs that you can check out if you would like to do that. But this is a red flag for me. We also have natural and artificial flavors. Now there's a big list on the FDA's website of all the different chemicals that can assume this very unassuming name, natural flavors or artificial flavors. Uh, but this is an ingredient that I try to avoid because some of these natural and artificial flavors are things like cochineal, which is actually made from bugs, things like um, castoreum, which is actually taken from the castor gland of a beaver, which is located inside of its anus. This is the beaver butt juice that I've talked about before. Now, because they don't specifically put those chemicals on the label, you don't know if you're consuming them or not. So this is why natural and artificial flavors are a red flag for me. 
But in general, it's important to note that this isn't full of too many crazy looking chemicals and preservatives and things like that. It's really a fairly short ingredient list. So I'm going to rate this with a six. Pretty much gets the same rating as I gave it for flavor. So I wanted to start with a common brand that was recognizable. We do have some better chocolate here in the bag that I'm going to show you. Uh, but this guy, unfortunately, uh, he gets a six on both counts. Okay, Lint. So Lint is actually the company who originally came up with the process of creating smooth chocolate. So I'll just tell you straight up, this is one of my favorite brands. Um, and so we will start by doing our taste test here and seeing how it tastes. So this is a 70% smooth dark chocolate bar. Moving into dark chocolate realm, where I love to be. Now this, <laughs> this is a lot more chocolatey than the Dove. It is super smooth. It is really good. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I'm gonna probably give this like a nine. <laughs> it's really tasty. Um, and I love chocolate, so I love that it's super duper chocolatey. I just ate a little tiny piece, but I'm good and I don't feel compelled to eat anymore. It was super chocolatey. So let's take a look at the ingredients and see what we've got. So, <clears throat> chocolate, sugar. So just first, we've barely even, even gotten into the ingredients, but already we can see the difference between the Dove, where this one actually has chocolate as the first ingredient, sugar as the second, cocoa butter, soya lecithin, and bourbon vanilla beans. So once again, it is very likely that the sugar and the soy lecithin are genetically modified or GMO because this is not an organic candy bar. Uh, it was made in the United States. Um, you can see it was manufactured in New Hampshire down here. Uh, so chances are we still have the GMOs, but what this one is missing that our Dove chocolate did have is the natural and artificial flavors. And again, that is a really huge red flag for me, those natural and artificial flavors, because then you literally have no idea what you're eating. Uh, so this one, I'm gonna go ahead and give it, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight. Uh, because again, we've got the GMO consideration, uh, but we don't have any weird, crazy chemicals here. We don't have anything that I can't pronounce. Uh, we have a really pretty short ingredient list, so maybe the GMOs are the biggest offense that this chocolate has. I also wanna point out the sugar content. So this entire bar of chocolate, okay, so there's 12 grams of sugar per serving, two and a half, servings per bar. So that's about 30 grams of sugar in this entire chocolate bar. And as I mentioned, it's super chocolatey, super chocolatey. And what I just wanna point out is that this Coke, okay, Coca-Cola, uh, has 65 grams of sugar. So literally, you could eat two entire bars of chocolate and you would have consumed less sugar than if you had one of these Coca-Colas, right? Um, and a lot of people drink several of these throughout the day. This is not, you know, it's not like we're talking about a huge three liter Coke or anything. Uh, so two of these chocolate bars is still gonna give you less sugar than a Coke. I'm gonna go ahead and move this up to an eight. Okay, so this got a nine in the flavors, an eight in the ingredients and sugar content. Let's see what comes next. All right. Let's go ahead and get it over with and do the Hershey bar. So Hershey is probably the, the most popular chocolate, the most well-known chocolate. 
Uh, this is the king size milk chocolate bar. Pretty iconic little candy bar here. To keep with our pattern, I will go ahead and give it a taste first. Now obviously I've had Hershey's chocolate before, this is not my first time. I stopped eating Hershey's chocolate before I became all obsessed with nutrition. Um, and it's because it didn't seem very chocolatey to me. Of course, it's super sweet. It's very pleasurable to eat because it has a lot of sugar in it, uh, but it's not super chocolatey. And especially compared to this lint that I just had, which was very chocolatey. I mean, this just almost doesn't taste like chocolate at all. So let's take a look at the ingredients. As far as rating this on my chocolate scale, Honestly, I kind of want to give it a three. <laughs> I mean, it's smooth, it's sugary, it's very sweet and good and whatever, uh, but it's not super chocolatey, so I'm giving this a three. Ingredients. <clears throat> uh, milk chocolate, so that's sugar, milk, chocolate, cocoa butter, lactose, milk fat, soy lecithin, again, our GMO, uh, PGPR, emulsifier, vanillin, and artificial flavor. So, uh, just going down the list, right? Sugar, again, is the first ingredient. Sugar actually comes, sugar, milk, chocolate, cocoa butter is our order. So again, our GMO, or potential GMOs, probable GMOs are sugar and soy lecithin. Then we also want to consider this PGPR. So this is polyglycerol polyrisinoleate. Uh, and what this is, is, is a processed fat. So what they have done, and if you go, you can actually read this on Wikipedia, uh, it's often used as a substitute for cocoa butter. So this does have some cocoa butter in it as well, but then they use the PGBPR to further emulsify it, make it smooth, help it all congeal together. And this is a processed fat. This is something that I, uh, would again consider a big red flag. Um, and again, the artificial flavors, which I've already griped about. Uh, so this got a three on the flavor scale. I'm gonna give it a three on the ingredient scale too, honestly, because we've got GMOs, we've got sugar and milk as the first ingredients before we even get to the chocolate. We also have artificial flavors. Sorry, Hershey's. Please don't sue us. Let's see what's next. Alrighty. So this is a Central Market brand. This is an organic 71% dark chocolate bar uh, with these little rice quinoa crisps in it. So this is kind of like a crunch bar, right? And the crunch bar was definitely one of my favorite candies growing up. Some people like the little Rice Krispie Crunch. Some people aren't really into it. Let me know what you think. I'm anxious to taste this candy bar. Almost ripped the ingredients in half, but luckily I didn't. Again, beautiful packaging here with the gold embossed packaging. Looks super nice. And of course the gold aluminum foil on the inside as well. Mm. This is really good. It's super chocolatey, which I like. It's not quite as smooth as the lint was there, but the flavor is awesome. It definitely tastes like chocolate, which I love. Uh, so I would probably give this guy, I don't know, like I'm thinking a seven or an eight on the flavor. I'm starting to get confused on what I've rated all these guys, but he's somewhere between a seven and an eight. And then here we have our ingredients. Uh, so organic cocoa mass, organic cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic rice quinoa crisp, which is rice, quinoa, cane sugar, and organic vanilla pods. 
So again, we've got cocoa mass before sugar. This is a good sign for me because I want it to taste chocolatey. Okay, we also, because all of these ingredients are organic, know that there's no GMOs or genetically modified organisms in this candy bar. So even though we have that sugar, we know that at least it's not genetically modified. Now that doesn't mean that sugar is healthy for you, so to speak, but it's at least not as bad as the GMO sugar that we saw before. Um, and again, we don't even have soy lecithin, lecithin or any kind of emulsifier or preservative or a ke weird chemical in here. So I'm actually gonna give this a nine on the uh, list. And once we get to a couple of these other things in here and you see my example of a 10, maybe it'll give you a better an idea. Uh, but so far, I think this is our best bet so far in terms of the best, cleanest ingredients uh, and incredible taste and flavor. Central market for the win. Okay, Ghirardelli. So apparently they like this shiny metallic packaging. This has been on almost all of these, except for the Dove and the Hershey bars. So uh, these are beautiful. Ghirardelli is really delicious, incredible chocolate, right? Um, let me know what you think. This is a dark chocolate with white mint filling. So. This kind of reminds me of the Andes mints, right? And I think Andes mints were like everybody's favorite candy. It was the only reason that anybody went to Olive Garden, right? The Andes mints. Uh, so I'm excited to taste this little candy here. And then of course we will look at the ingredients as well. But let's start by giving it a little taste. It's really good. <laughs> okay. All right. So, our ingredients sugar, unsweetened chocolate, high fructose corn syrup, palm oil, cocoa butter, milk fat, corn syrup, soy lecithin, water, vanilla, peppermint oil, potassium sorbate citric acid and TBHQ and gelatin. So this one has a little bit more ingredients than the other chocolate bars because it has that minty filling in it as well. So I'll take that into account. Um, but unfortunately, I kind of wish I would have looked at the ingredients before I ate it, honestly, <laughs> because here we've got, again, sugar as the first ingredient before chocolate. Uh, we also have high fructose corn syrup in addition to the sugar, okay, uh, and soy lecithin. So there are our three uh, potential or probable GMOs, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and then we also have corn syrup as well as the high fructose corn syrup, uh, and the soy lecithin. So we just have to recognize that there are probably GMOs inside of this product. Uh, and then we have these different uh, preservatives like TBHQ. So this is tertiary butylated hydroxyquinone. This is a very common preservative that you've probably seen before. If you watch my videos, you've definitely heard me talk about it before. So uh, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to rate this with a two because not only do we have the GMOs, not only do we have sugar as the first ingredient, we also have high fructose corn syrup, uh, and then we have potassium sorbate and TBHQ, these different preservatives. Um, unfortunately, not a fantastic ingredient list here on the Ghirardelli, but let's get to something maybe a little bit better. All right, so we're getting to the end, but let's see what's next. So here we have a simply balanced organic 72% uh, dark chocolate bar. So this should be kind of in the same realm of chocolatiness as our lint 70% over here. 
Let's open it up, give it a taste, and find out. Apparently they missed the memo about the gold packaging. But that's okay, this one has the natural look about it. It's really good. Super chocolatey, really good, really smooth, very nice. I think I gave the lint a nine, so I'm gonna put this one just under the lint. I'm gonna give this one an eight on flavor. Uh, this one is really, really good. Very delicious, very chocolatey. And let's turn it over and have a look at these ingredients. So we've got dark chocolate, which is nice, right? Seeing this is the first ingredient. Uh, so inside the dark chocolate is cocoa mass, raw cane sugar, and cocoa butter. Uh, so this is nice that we actually have cocoa before sugar. I like that. Then we have cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, and that's it. So this one is using sunflower instead of soy. Because this is organic, once again, we are ensured that there are no genetically modified organisms or GMOs inside of this candy bar. So that's really nice. We know that our sugar and sunflower oil, which can be a genetically modified ingredient, uh, that neither of these are genetically modified. So this is a super simple, super short ingredient label. So I'm giving this Simply Balanced Organic Dark Chocolate Bar uh, a nine. And let me explain to you why this is getting a nine and this other one is getting a nine instead of getting a 10. What is the 10 that's in my bag? Alrighty, this is it. Uh, raw chocolate beans. Uh, often called cacao beans or cocoa beans, right? They look like this. Have you ever seen an actual raw chocolate bean before? If you watched my smoothie videos, then you did, but uh, I know that I have went most of my life never knowing what an actual chocolate bean looked or tasted like. Let's give it a taste and see. Chocolatey, yes. Now, obviously most people don't just pop cacao beans. Although if you really like chocolate, I highly recommend it. It's really good and very chocolatey. So why are these a 10 while these other chocolate bars are a nine? So first of all, uh, this is just 100% pure cacao beans. There's no added sugar, there's nothing like that. Now I know most people might not just be eating them by the handful by themselves, uh, but even if we threw these into a smoothie or made our own chocolate mousse, which I will show you how to do in a future video using these, when you use the raw cacao bean, you are going to actually be getting the health benefits of the cacao. So high levels of antioxidants, there's also a lot of fiber, dietary fiber, inside of the cacao beans. Uh, they're also very high in minerals, especially magnesium. Uh, so minerals are really important. I've talked about minerals before. Usually underlying salt cravings are mineral deficiencies. So different things we can add into our diet with high amounts of minerals will also help to minimize our salt cravings, which is a nice added bonus. Now there are some different chocolate bars out there on the market that are made with these raw cacao beans. Usually they're kind of expensive, okay? Uh, but that's why I wanted to show you this because this is a very economical way to make your own super healthy chocolate. Whether you use it to make the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup smoothie that I showed in my smoothie series, or even if you just you know eat them by the handful, you actually get a lot of health benefits when you're eating this kind of chocolate. 
So in future videos, I'm going to show you some ways that you can use these cacao beans to make your own delicious delicacies. I'm really interested to know your thoughts, your requests. What was your favorite chocolate? Did I mention it today in this video? If there's another type of chocolate or another type of candy that you would like me to cover in a video like this, please let me know. I'm always eager to see your feedback and make videos based on your requests. So if you'd like to learn more about me, you can visit my website, KarinaRachel.com. I hope you'll subscribe to Psyche Truth so you can see all of my future videos coming up. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.